Hey guys, welcome back. During today's episode, we are going to myth bust cam misconceptions. With all the misconceptions out there, you guys, I thought it would be an opportune time to tell you about the top 10 cam myths out there that frankly would scare the shit out of me if I was thinking about camming too. Myth one, I'll be exposed to my friends and family. Okay, this one is definitely a myth. It has to do with stupidity and we know how to avoid this. It's simple, you guys. Do not give away any personal information or location and keep your online cam alias profile and your personal profile separate. If you do this well enough, nobody will be able to find out. By now I'm sure that you understand that the internet operates in niches. Don't worry, these niches will not intercept unless you allow them to. Myth two, I can't cam and keep my day job. The beauty about camming is that you get to work the hours you choose. You can work from anywhere, anytime. You are your own boss. That is what is so great about this work. You have nobody to tell you when you have to be at work, worry about being late, or calling in for a sick day. You make your own schedule. For some, having this freedom will help you become more self-sufficient when it comes to being organized with your time. There's no excuse not to make time to make more money. Myth three, cam models don't pay any taxes. I mean, come on guys, cam models pay taxes like everyone else. When you become a cam model, you get a 1099. This means you are a sole proprietor. Who else can say that they are their own business? I mean, you get to write off things that you use for camming and have enough expenses, you might even get money back. A 1099 is nothing to be scared about, you guys. So myth busted. Myth four, you have to be tech savvy to cam. Not true. Just about every cam site is user friendly and at an elementary level use. If you can send a text, you can cam. There are even some sites that you can work from your phone with. It just can't get any easier than that to make money online. Myth five, camming is porn. Whether it is considered porn or not is defined by the host. Nobody's gonna knock your hustle, girls, so go for it if you're comfortable with that. The truth is that there aren't social norms that have been established for this particular industry. The websites provide the medium, the space for the host to perform. The content that gets produced in the room is decided by each individual host. The shows that some hosts perform can be considered porn, while other shows that hosts perform are not. You have to take each individual performance by case-by-case -case basis. Everybody knows sex sells and using it to your advantage in business and marketing has been a common practice for literally centuries. Mere camming isn't considered porn. It's the content that is posted. Myth six, you cannot do internet modeling forever. The fact is nothing lasts forever, you guys, but you would be better off spending your time building your own brand and following rather than working for a dead end job that you really aren't into. If you are smart with it, you can take the money you make and invest it into your passion. So get your money and invest it wisely in your future. So this myth is true. Myth seven, all cam models are viewed as sex objects. This is actually not true. Many girls pride themselves in being the exact opposite. You guys, we are not objects, we are people. We have brains and a mind and how you decide to use it is entirely up to you. I love being a smart girl and yeah, it makes people desire me, but at the same time, I don't have to feel like I'm objectifying myself. Myth eight, I can't cam and have a boyfriend. Myth, the top cam models actually involve their boyfriends and their husbands and helping keep up with their work. Working in industry like this can help you develop a healthy relationship. Making an effort to understand your significant other's love languages can make all the difference. 
You will work through the obstacles, come up with tactics together, and be more confident in your relationship when you are openly working together. For others, it may work to not discuss your workday. Regardless, it is possible to have a healthy, long-term relationship. Myth nine, I have to get nude to be successful. This is so far from the truth. This job does exist on a sexual platform, but it doesn't mean that it only has to consist of sexual things. You do not have to get nude to make a lot of money as a cam model. You just have to know what to say and when to say it. A lot of people think that all cam models get nude, but the reality is they don't. You do not have to get nude to be successful in this industry. It's up to you to choose what you're comfortable with. The number one rule to being successful at cam modeling is being a good communicator. Communication is key. That means you have to ask questions and look involved. You guys would be surprised at how many of the chats you encounter daily are not sexual. Myth 10, the skills you learn from camming aren't applicable to other jobs. There's a wide variety of skill sets that you have to learn and become proficient in. You learn sales and marketing tactics, whether you realize it or not. And on top of that, you build confidence. These are all skills that you will be able to list on a resume as a model. Nobody has to know specifically what gigs you had. The fact of the matter is, you learn so many skills that you can carry with you into any occupation. See you guys, there are so many misconceptions about camming out there that are absolutely not true. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for, to let you know what is real. Your cam work is what you make it. Stay positive, stay focused, and don't let anyone knock your hustle. Stay tuned next week for our next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cam Girl Experts Mythbusters. Bye.